Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And the Crawley family lived happily <laughs> ever after. Or did they? Because it's not the last we've seen of the cast of Downton Abbey. A movie is in the work. I know one person who's hoping for a chance to be a part of it. Actress Lily Collins. I wouldn't say no. I mean... It's amazing. Just a lady. <laughs> Just a lady. I'll play a lady, <laughs> lady too. Lady Lily. Yeah. <laughs> You'll play a lady too. Yeah. I'll be your sister. Perfect. <laughs> Lily having some fun with her To The Bone co-star Alex Sharp. Most likely a welcome departure from the heavy subject matter they dealt with in the upcoming Netflix release. I've got it under control. Lily plays a young woman in a life-and-death struggle with anorexia, and despite her petite stature, the 28-year-old daughter of musician Phil Collins lost weight for the role. There was no number of pounds that I was, was being told to lose. There was never an end result that they wanted me to attain. This was me as an actor entering a role, choosing to portray the character in the way that I felt emotionally I needed to. We got to have CGI and some special, you know, special effects, makeup, wardrobe, the whole, the whole deal. Lily knows firsthand the struggle her character, Ellen, faces, having battled an eating disorder herself in her teens, which she candidly shares in her new memoir, Unfiltered, No Shame, No Regrets, Just Me. I think now being able to speak about this subject matter as well as many other different things, you start to realize that it's okay to say things that not everyone's going to agree with. But she's come a long way from the days of body insecurity. Bathing suits were a thing to be feared when I was younger, I feel like. Even posing in a swimsuit on the cover of this month's Shape magazine. I would just never have thought that I would then be doing a magazine cover A that was called Shape, which is something that when I was going through disorder, the disorder that I didn't want, didn't want Shape, and now I'm on the cover of something promoting it, which is so wonderful.